I really hope this is not a bad angle. <laughs> um, hi, welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. Today we are going to have a little chat and go over what's on my project use it up slash shop my stash slash open product shelf. 99% of this stuff, maybe like two sprays fits on here, but <laughs> not all of them have the full set with them up here because I haven't pulled them from other places I store things, but we're just going to kind of wing it at this point because I was put, trying to put everything on the ground to show you and it was a lot. So, I am going to start by saying thank you for watching, and if you want, you can subscribe down below. I do have other videos on this topic, like how to use up some of your product. I have an empties video, which was up before, should be up before this one. But I'm going to go over, follow up on like the whole FOMO, no buy type of thing. Right now, I'm on what I would consider a low buy. And that is my grocery list. That is not what I was looking for. So, I kind of lost my mind a little bit with some of those uh, Stranger Things candles, but I did good for Halloween for those purchases. Something that's kind of been bugging me a little bit, it's July. Halloween is in October. You've got August, September, and most of October to put out Halloween and buy Halloween before Halloween gets here. I will decorate about halfway through the month for Halloween. The only reason I purchased everything now was because things that I wanted are going to sell out. Resellers are going to buy them all up, etc., etc. There's a lot of people with huge hauls, which does lead me into telling you about another video that's coming up. I'm going to go through my fall and Halloween candles with you guys for my coffee and candles coming up. I'm not taping that today. <laughs> I've already taped enough. But... I feel that I have enough candles. I go through anywhere between 10 and 20 candles a month. I can use up my older ones along with a few new ones that I got and kind of go from there. Purchasing wise, still have not done as much damage as I've done in the past in less than a month. So I was pretty happy with that. I have decided though, um, I'm not the only one that's kind of doing this. I want to do a cash budget only and go in the store only not purchase online anymore and first of all um a little over a year ago I stopped doing cash envelope budgeting and everything went to hell to be honest and I would like to restart kind of refresh our financial life and you know save up money and just go in the store knowing I have x amount of money to spend today and that's it that way I'm not tempted that and, you know, paying fees, things coming broken. It's just getting, it's becoming a broken record for me. Lately, it hasn't been awful, but why not just go in the store? That way I can add to that feeling of, you know, when you're young and you have excited about what you're buying and you get to go home and play with it and look at it and everything. You don't have to wait a week for it to get here and then just not feel the excitement anymore. And I'm kind of missing that. And I think it would be much more of a valuable purchase to me if I was really excited about it on top of other things. Um, let me see if there's any other notes I made on the topic. And also, you know, the only, again, the only reason why I'm buying Halloween now, I, I don't want to miss out on the things that I do want. Um, let's see. Where was it? Oh, well, I know I do have a, a buying addiction and someone that kind of analyzes her addiction or buying addictions in general better than me is Jen at Just Jen's Things. I will link her channel in the description of this video. And she does it a lot better with me. She has the words. I don't have the words. I just kind of wing everything I do in life. So hence the pile of body care in front of me. Um, but right now, with the exception of a handful of items, I feel like I have enough I feel like I have the things that I want. There's stuff coming out that I do want to try, but I'm going to wait till there's a sale, till I have the cash in my pocket and go and purchase them. And I have to remind myself, I am not going to die if I can't get my hands on marshmallow pumpkin latte. It's that simple. But um, let me know how you feel about FOMO. Do you get FOMO? How's it go for you? What do you do for your project to use it up? And um, do you have a project to use it up? 
I used to strictly, I have to finish these things in this X amount of time. So like I was saying, um, I used to force myself to use stuff. I used to be like, no, I have to use these items first. So I created a shelf in my office on one of my bookcases. These are all my open items. Let's try to use some of these up. If I open a new thing to try it, we could put it on there later. I don't have to finish it from start to finish every time. Why not work on things I've, things I like, but things that I need to finish that are open already. It might, it makes more sense. So first I'm going to go, I'm going to try to go through the stuff that is sets, but they're so jumbled right now. It might be a little weird. There might be some digging, so I'm definitely going to be editing this. Um, one where I know I don't have the fine fragrance mist right away because I gave the open one to my sister and I kept another open one that I have. I just don't have it out yet. And that is bubbly rosé. This I have, but you know, I do appreciate all the feedback that I was getting before on my low buy and how I was feeling about things. I was getting kind of depressed there for a little bit. I don't know if anybody really sensed that. So this is vacation vibe and I'm going to use this with, um, instead of Trader Joe's, I almost said Harry Potter. I'm going to use this with Trader Joe's body butter and the, um, scrub. I gave the lotion to my sister because of the whole lotion situation that we had. I didn't want to take any risk and it gets on my last nerve anyway. This is a uh, vacation vibe. Whipped pistachio and amber. I'm not going to go through all the notes. If it says something on the front, I will go over it, but we're not going to have time for that. There's too much stuff here. I have a set of A Thousand Wishes for You, and this is more than halfway empty. This is, oh, I might try this one soon. And some of these I just don't have the shower gels to. We have Cherry Limeade. This month I do want to use a lot of creams, but I'm probably going to end up using a mix of stuff. I don't know that I can commit to that right now. <laughs> to tell you the truth this I just got the shower gel too because it was on sale 75% off still and I have a cream for this so I am going to be hoping to work on this soon another one on drive and sometimes the ones that I test and I only test once I still put up there because it has usage it's been opened it should be used soon um where was I? I'm looking for sets. And this one I really like. This is blueberry bunt cake. I have the whole set for it. And I do have the rest of this set actually in my bathroom right now. This is blueberry sugar pancakes. And the rest of the set for this one in my bathroom. And this is fresh Amalfi lemon. I believe that I don't have a shower gel for this. I'm not using shower gel for this at least. Um, all I could find was a lotion, so I do have the lotion that I'm working on right now. Ah. And then we have pumpkin swirl cake. And this one, actually, I need to do a review on pretty soon. But I do like this one. Very excited to use it soon. And then, in my opinion, this is definitely a spring or summery scent for when it's hot, and I'm probably going to use this soon, too. And this is the Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. It is not my favorite scent in the world. Don't get me wrong. It's okay, but not everything I was hoping for, so I won't mind using this up whatsoever. It is a good refreshing scent for when it's been hot all day, and that is why I wanted to use it for the season. Ooh. We have a set of sweet whiskey and then with these ones that are kind of fall oriented i am probably not going to be using them up right away just because they are open so i want to have that awareness if i get in the mood for them but also wanted to have them up there so i could uh, use them in the fall time around here the hottest month is usually july and then 
it's so so in August and then September and all of a sudden you're freezing in October like at the end of October um we've got dark kiss where is the mist to this one? Oh my god sweater weather in my version it is hoodie weather Another really nice lavender scent is Cozy Season, which um, I used one that's similar to it, but not the same, a different lavender one um, last month. Oh my God, I just looked at it not long ago either. Cozy Sunday morning? Something Sunday morning? That's the one I just used recently. And this is one that I really had high hopes for, but did not stick to my skin well. It smelled nice, and I'm hoping maybe with my overspray habit, I can use it. And I ha I've used it twice, so there's a lot gone. This is Bourbon Strawberry Vanilla. And I want to like this one a lot more than I ended up liking it. Like, it smells really nice, but it does not stay on me. So, you know, it's nice, but it kind of disappointed me. A full and open set, which was part of a project to use it up that I never got to. And this is A Thousand Wishes. And I don't know what happened. Oh, well, it's right here. But I do want to get some work done on this one. I had a mini set to go with it, but my daughter tried A Thousand Wishes at the store. So I gave her the mini fine fragrance mist and mini shower gel. She doesn't like cream, so I kept the cream for myself. I have a full set of winter candy apple. And I don't remember having a full set of this. I mean, when I put it on the shelf, I knew about it. But I didn't realize I had one. So another one that I'm probably not going to use right away of beach nights which i'm hoping to use pretty soon because i miss this scent and i heard that that new vanilla one smells a lot like this so i wouldn't mind finishing this one i have velvet sugar which i never finished but thought i would and then i have pink suede and this one is here because it's open but i don't know if i'm quite ready for it yet i've been using with array of products aside from the mist that goes with it but this is a warm vanilla sugar i grabbed this off my desk before starting I set that up there so I don't forget. And then I also have this Japanese Camilla lotion. This actually I used today with the mist with the vanilla mist from the body shop. I really like that combination. I love it, but they do not make this anymore. I don't believe that they're in the US anymore either. If they are somewhere else and someone comes across this, it would be lovely if they let me know where I could get my hands on it. Because I do love the scent. It's just, it's perfect for me. It doesn't have notes that I know of, but I really adore this. I don't know where the lotion went. It's somewhere in my lotion collection. This is, ooh, almost hit myself with that pink chiffon. Random, the Moroccan Rose Shea Sugar Scrub. I did not have a chance to finish, but I'm hoping to put it in the shower soon. And I also have a Champagne Toast Soap Bar. I had all intentions of that's not the right one. <laughs> I had all intentions of using these two together and just didn't. I really love this fragrance, Buttercups and Berry Bellini. I've never had so many compliments in my life. I would hope that they would bring it back someday, maybe next spring or something, but um, love this. I It'll break my heart to use it up, but I should finish it. I have two open vanilla mocha creams. This one I used a little bit last month, so that's why it's about halfway. This one has more in it, but it has had some usage, so I'm gonna leave them on the shelf. A very, very old. This could be considered probably an antique. This is a warm vanilla sugar, and it's the Diamond Shimmer Mist. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this is older than my kid. Um, it's either 2018 or 2008. I think it was 2018 or 2008 because this was $16. <laughs> um, I have no comment. Um, what I can't say is I use the word antique because in my line of business, I work with car haulers. When a car has been there on hold for some reason for a very long time, we call them antiques. Um, I do, but, um, yeah, that's that what that is. I have a strawberry and snowflakes lotion. 
So I'm actually going to put this back into my lotion collection because I wasn't sure if I was going to need more than one lotion to finish the fine fragrance mist, but I only needed one. So this I am going to put back in my carts with my lotion. I actually got it. Get it over there where I could see it. I have Vanilla Bean Noel, which I could probably use up with the one that smells like frosting, uh, the OGX that I didn't finish. God, this is the one that I believe still smelled good because there was Vanilla Bean No Smell and there was also Vanilla Bean that smells like it's burnt, Vanilla Burnt Beans, I guess. No, this smells like it's supposed to. This used to be my favorite scent around Christmas time, but just because they ruined it, reformulating it or something, I'm picky. So I have to smell it in store because I um, smell one that smelled like it was burnt. We also have Secret Wonderland, which I did not finish. Um, I did finish the body cream, but I had trouble with the sprayer on this. And then it just, it was not nearly as powerful as I wanted it to be. So... Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll mix it with something. And I have what's left of a cucumber melon fine fragrance mist. I've got pink obsessed. This is what I used with the warm vanilla sugar lotion. I have gingham love. And if you guys have seen my empties video by now, I hope, um, I don't think I'm going to be going through nearly as many body mist as I did the last one. That's because I really hungered down on trying to get rid of a lot of those items. So I think now it's going to be about, you know, creams and lotions, which I don't think it's going to be that much more than my normal, but we're going to see what I can do. We have Sweetheart Cherry, which I am tempted to use soon, but I actually have been thinking about saving it for like September-ish because it's really strong, but I think this would be better in a cooler weather. I think it'd be nice like September, October when it starts to cool down a little bit. And then I have Peach Bellini, the Strawberry Pound Cake. This is the last one of the faceted that I have, and I just opened this um, recently. We have Gingham Gorgeous, which I could probably finish this pretty soon. And I have a Midsummer Dream. I have You're the One and Brightest Bloom. So that's everything that I have on my shelf for right now. But my little pointers, you know, like I said in the beginning, if you're able to, maybe I said it in the last video. I don't know. I'm so confused at this point. But um, take your items with you. If you work in an office, it's okay to take your lotion and your spray with you. Um, if you know that people around you are sensitive to smells or it might offend them, then, you know, don't use it as often or in the office or however. I myself work at home. Besides the dog and the cats who do not seem to be offended whatsoever by my fragrances um, and my family, I'm by myself, so I don't have to really worry about it. And when I did work in an office, um, my coworkers were 90% men. And as long as it wasn't something like ridiculous, ridiculously heavy scent, no one ever did anything but compliment me. So, you know, it wasn't really a big issue. But if it was someone that I knew was sensitive about smells, I tried to do things that were um, pretty likable, not offensive, not super strong, but nice enough that if you're standing close to me, I don't smell stinky. You know, I smell nice, but not like, like, you can see me and smell me at the same time, not where you can smell me before you see me. Um, but that is my advice. If you're thinking of doing a project, use it up. That helped me tremendously with my body sprays because then if I get up, walk around, take a break from work or do something, go make my lunch, I got to spritz myself a little bit more. So that helped me use it up. The same with the hand cream with creams. I do use hand creams, but I also try to bring them, bring uh, whatever cream or lotion I'm working on with me to my desk so I can use it during the day if I run out of hand cream or I just feel like using it. So that is it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!